What's up guys, Aeon here with the uh, Vault of Glass Raid Weapon. We're going to do a full catalog of all the weapons I got my friends Isark and Orc Goldfink here to help me out. First up we have the most common weapon, the uh, Atheon's Epilogue, a Void Auto Rifle, which is probably the highest fire rate in the game. Uh, the description says, Atheon's story is still being written, the wielder holds the pen, by unknown. Notable upgrades to this are the uh, increased magazine size, which I've heard from professionals that it is not really worth it because it only bumps it up by 14 rounds. The best one to use is uh, Perfect Balance, because the weapon fires so fast, having Perfect Balance lets you really get pick one accurate. As all ray weapons, it has Oracle Disruptor, and it has Glass Half Full, which the bottom half of the magazine does extra damage. Zach, go ahead and unload for us. Alright, all good. Alright, Goldfinger, step up in place. Goldfinger has the Vision of Confluence, the scout rifle for the raid. It does solar damage and is one of the hardest hitting scout rifles in the game. The description reads, what you have seen will mark you forever. It can be fired full auto by holding the trigger and firing back to back. You don't have to constantly pull the trigger. With the magazine upgrade, it holds 27 rounds. It also has Zen Moment, which causes increased stability as the weapon does damage. Goldfinger, fire it off. Right. I turn. I'm using the Kratos timepiece, the Arc Scout Rifle. The description reads, he skipped like a stone on the on time's oceans. This is what's left. This weapon, uh, I gotta say, fires like butter and has a special ability secret round which missing a burst will give the weapon a fourth round. I don't have the magazine upgrades, but it holds 30 round base and it fires pretty blue lasers. Alright, next up will be Ice Art with Kratos Vengeance. Kratos Revenge round. The sniper rifle for the raid. This weapon does void damage, and the description reads Kratos' fall isn't over because it hasn't happened yet, and it will happen again. This is one of the fastest firing sniper rifles in the game, and with the magazine upgrade, can hold six rounds. It also has Feeding Frenzy, which kills with this weapon increased reload speed for a short time, making it fire even faster between magazines. Zach, fire off. Next, with the shotgun, found murder. It is an arc shotgun, and its description reads simply, Witness. Uh, this shotgun has final round, which the last round of the magazine does bonus damage, and holds six rounds, and it can be fired in full auto mode. Like so. There's your side view of it. Alright, next Goldfinger comes up with one of the rarest weapons in the entire game and one of the, easily the hardest to get in the raid. Praetorian Foil. A uh, fusion rifle that does solar damage and it simply reads Erase the Future. Hold five rounds, bottom half of the magazine does additional damage, and it reduces charge time thanks to accelerated foils. Goldfinger fired off. Is one cool whip. Alright, Zach, you'll pull out the rocket launcher next. We're gonna see what Ease and Vengeance has. Ease and Vengeance is a void rocket launcher. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a solar rocket. It reads that Ease and Axis Mine is tireless and infinite. While it cannot be stopped, it can be paused. Two holds up to two rockets. Uh, Zach has this particular perk where it has increased warhead velocity. And it has mini murder, which fires several small explosives once the warhead is detonated. Alright, Zach shows up the bird bush. Alright, well, I have my little volunteer over here on the left side. You see this little, little, little 12 ready. goblin here. Yep, and he decided to volunteer for this and see what's gonna happen to him. I'm gonna go for a headshot, see if I can hit him. Fire away. On target. 
target. Alright. And then I'll hit this rock. Oh, that sounds so dramatic. Next, I will be showing Corrective Measure. Easily one of the best heavy machine guns in the game. It is a boy heavy machine gun. It says, it breaks the rules of reality as ruthlessly as it shatters your foes. You can expect to find more ammunition for this weapon and with the increased magazine, you can hold up underground. And it's a underground beauty. I also happen to have the hand cannon with the raid, bait bringer, and arc hand cannon says deliver the inevitable one pull at a time. Special purposes for this weapon include Firefly, in which precision damage causes targets to explode, and the explosion is also heart damage. So those outlaw precision kills with this weapon dramatically increase reload. It even has explosive rounds in which the rounds do area of effect damage instead of direct. Fires like something. And Ice will show us the Exotic, the raid, the Vex Mythic Lab. This is a special fusion rifle which can be equipped in the primary fusion slot, or weapon slot. It does 323 fire damage thanks to the most recent buff. And it reads, a causal loop with the weapon's mechanism, suggesting that the firing process somehow binds in the space and time itself. Kills with this weapon increase damage for a short time, and causing damage increases the ability even further. Back, unload. Alright. <laughs> Sounds so weird. And I think that's all the raid weapons, guys. Did I miss any? Nope. Not that I know of. No finger approves. Well, if you, unless you want to count all the, uh, Exotics possible in the game from the chest and from getting it at Atheon. Well, that's just spoilers. You then get those that's all places. of it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, that will conclude our presentation of all the Vault of Glass raid weapons. We'll be back soon with all the Protoss End raid weapons. We'll see you then. Everybody, wave goodbye. Nice. <laughs>